How does it look? I think I can. <clears throat> wow. I'm going to try Active Track where I can move around. That's pretty cool. Is this thing working? I'm pretty sure I have this mic attached right now. <clears throat> Here's the G Link I've been testing with the arms. And I got the Komodo on there on the Ronin 2, the little 28 to 76. And then this is their uh, ring system here. Just a piece of aluminum. For our little project I'm working on for the tranquilizer, it should be out in probably a month or so, maybe longer, probably longer. There's a new member of the family I don't think you guys have met. This is Roo. Hi, Roo. He's a mini Australian shepherd. She does tricks. Jump. Jump. Good girl. Over here, this is Scout. Hi, Scout. Oh, good girl. Hug. Scout, hug. Oh, they're doing all their tricks. Hug. 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 Hmm. High five. Oh, double high five. I gotta split the treat for that. Good girls. Let me show you my new favorite thing. This espresso maker. It's called a super automatic. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen me post about this. Um, it's got all kinds of cool mechanics in there. Put the beans up here. There's a grinder. I can get in there. Oh, that's neat. Look at that. Grinder. You just put a cup there. Dial it in a little bit. Cheers. It's great. When you dial it in right, it tastes really good. This thing's about to die. So far, I like this new Osmo thing, though. Especially in the car with the little lav mic. I feel like I want to just do a tour of Los Angeles and talk about things. That will fall for sure. I guess we could try it. This is how I break the camera. It tips over while I'm driving. No, it's holding it still. Oh. How about this? I try to wedge it in there a little more. Let's see where we're going. Driving down Magnolia Boulevard right now. Got some mountains in the background there. I used to live just to the right up here. Here's the Burbank Power Plant on the right. Two uh, big jet, GE uh, jet turbine generators in there. One's a backup. If you ever come to Burbank, do not jaywalk. You will get a ticket. I've gotten a ticket right in this intersection actually, like probably seven years ago when I first moved here. Right on this crosswalk we're driving over right now. $350 ticket for walking across when the timer was already you know close to zero. Right now, the kind of state of the film industry, if you're interested in that, um, a lot of the jobs have pushed. It's January 13th today. A lot of jobs are pushing. Uh, like our movie was, we were supposed to start on the 13th today, and they pushed to the 18th on Monday. So. People are moving schedules around. A lot of things are just canceling. I was supposed to actually do a commercial uh, yesterday or on Monday. That canceled. <clears throat> so it's, it feels like we're back to the summer when things are really slowing down. Although it's not a mandate, it's just a suggestion by the government to limit filming. And a lot of the studios are actually complying with that because cases here are in the range of like 60,000 new cases a day which is six times higher than the previous peak in the summer. It's just crazy. I think we're the epicenter of the world right now for COVID. Uh, like one in 10 people in LA have it, which is pretty freaky. But yeah, so I'm taking this time to 
you know, take stock of things and do little projects I've been planning. I'm always building things and I rarely have time to finish those, so I've been doing a lot of that, building a new upgrade for the tranquilizer, making a clamp for the end of the techno crane we got to hold uh, weights for the front, because a lot of times uh, if you have a really lightweight camera package on there, the crane isn't set up to fly that little weight, so you have to add a couple, you know, 5, 10, 15 pounds to the end so you can fly that. So I'm just making a really secure way to attach that. Uh, I'm going to make it out of aluminum and uh, steel bolts, and then I have bolts that will tighten down, and then I got bolts with holes through the heads, and you actually run aircraft wire through them, twist it up, and connect the two. So if one of them wants to loosen, it's going to tighten the other one, and vice versa. They do that a lot on aircraft. It's a good way. It's better than Loctite. You know, it's a more reliable way than Loctite to keep bolts in their place. i got to get my... YouTube voice back. It takes energy to sound positive and like happy, right? And I feel like I'm generally a pretty deadpan person. Um, so I'm trying my best to sound interesting. I gotta say, having a mill and a lathe and some machine tools is really gratifying when you make your own parts and actually use them on jobs or rent them, and make money off something that you made with your hands. Um, I was doing a little research today on Tormach uh, CNC mills, like a full on three axis mill system. You can get a basic one for like 4,000 bucks, 5,000. Um, but then you need, you know, coolant delivery, you need tool changer, a stand, and a lot of things. And that all adds up to around $15,000. But you can load a CAD file up, drop a piece of stock in there, and you'll get complex curves and shapes and really tight tolerances. Pretty much anything you can imagine you could, you could build with enough know-how and practice because it becomes difficult, you know, it's easy to clamp a square piece of aluminum into a vise, but then if you have a, you know, your final part has curves everywhere, that's harder to grab without damaging the part. So you end up having to build what are called, called uh, soft jaws, which is like a negative version of your part uh, milled out of the vise, so that when it clamps down, it actually has the same curvature of your part. So that takes a lot of engineering to make that efficient so you're not doing more operations than you need to. Now of course that doesn't mean anything since I don't have a machine so I'm just daydreaming but it's just fun to know about that stuff especially if you're dealing with manufacturers knowing what they have to go through helps you design a part better and understand the costs associated so it's just a hobby of mine. <laughs> Got a lot of stuff going on in here today. Got batteries going through discharge into storage mode for this XL head here that I'm sending out to Colorado for Denver. We got this one that we're working on, doing some testing with this new fiber optic gyro here, the fog. It's just a gyro sensor that eliminates any drift on the head that you get from the little gyro that's built in here. It's like the same thing in your phone. This one's the same thing in satellites and airplanes. So needless to say, it's a lot more expensive. This costs more than everything else here. But it uh, has a lot of benefits. I also need to get a new saw blade for this bandsaw here, because I got to cut through this piece of aluminum. I'm making this uh, part here. I did a little drawing of it. It's just a clamp piece for the end of the technocrane. Also, I haven't really shown much of the house before, I don't think. 
it's in a semi-clean state right now. We got stuff there. Got the kitchen. Got some art on the walls. I don't, wouldn't consider this art. It's actually a seaweed pack from Costco, but there was a spare hook, so we turned it into like an Andy Warhol-esque thing. And here I have kind of, oh, and here I have my little memorabilia wall from various movies, Into the Badlands. Uh, this is from Birds of Prey. I'm in there somewhere, there I am, right next to Harley. Birds of Prey slate. And my badge during production. This is actually a piece of uh, prop from Birds of Prey. Got Holiday. You got Formula One ticket, uh, Monaco back in 2016. Got a straight out of Compton poster signed by MC Ren, Ice Cube, and DJ Yella. No Dre signature. This is from Native Son, Ashton Sanders right there. And we got a couple more badges. Circle, Straight Outta Compton, The Prom, which was named Zaz, Badlands. I got one more thing out here. I got a big Compton poster. This is the pull up bar here. Little art studio, gym, storage, and then this goes out to the backyard. There's a puppy. So yeah, the house has been great. Here's our shed. Built that over quarantine. Been over in here for over a year, almost a year and three months maybe. Here's the living room. A little carpet there. He likes to sit on this cushion up high. I don't know why. Got the TV mounted to the wall. I ran the cables into the into the wall. They make these little uh, kits you can buy like a little plate and then you feed all the cables in there and it goes up to uh, an outlet I don't know if you can see it it's in there somewhere makes a clean look and there's two bedrooms over here and a bathroom and yeah my room's over here by the dining room through that door right there Got the Move XL loaded up, alpha wheels, batteries, charger. I'm gonna ship this to Denver. Got the trusty Tacoma with, the, with a busted window. That's fine though. The full top rack. And of course, a shovel. Gotta have a shovel.